Tesla intends to create 20 million electric cars per year by 2030. But would this be possible given supply chain constraints? The EV firm has multiple plants throughout the globe that produce automobiles and or batteries. The plants are located in California, Nevada, and China. In addition, Tesla launched two additional gigafactories this year, one in Austin, Texas, and one in Berlin, Germany. Stay tuned to find out more info on this subject. First, let's go through the background of Tesla's plan. Although electric vehicles are not yet widely used, an increasing number of people are switching to them each year. Consumers want firms to be more environmentally conscious as they hear more catastrophic forecasts about the global implications of climate change. Furthermore, many people are switching to save money as a consequence of the rising cost of gasoline. According to Statista, there will be 66.7 million car sales in 2021, compared to just 6.6 .6 million electric vehicle sales. This was over 3 million more electric cars sold than will be marketed in 2020. As a result, it should come as no surprise that Tesla is striving to scale up production in order to meet demand. Tesla claimed in a tweet that it has built 0.94 million automobiles by the end of 2021 and aimed to create 20 million vehicles by 2030. The organization's goal seems to be ambitious, considering that it intends to grow its activities over the following eight years. Years. Unlike more traditional manufacturers, it does not begin building a car until a buyer places an order for one. Customers may have to wait up to a year for the vehicle at this time. Elon Musk, Tesla's CEO, said that as a consequence of this, the business may need to limit or suspend orders until it can catch up on demand. With Tesla's current capacity, it's difficult to see how the business could scale up to create 20 million cars per year. Moving on, Tesla production problems. Tesla's can condition is bad. First, chip shortage is affecting the EV industry, but things seem to be improving. Because of increased supply, the price of lithium has risen. Musk said in April that he was thinking about having Tesla mine it for him. Industrial supplies were constrained due to the outbreak and the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. The company boosted automobile prices to compensate for the increased production expenses. As a result, the Model 3 and Model Y are no longer eligible for the California Clean Vehicle vehicle rebate program, CVRP. This may discourage buyers from buying electric vehicles. This may increase Tesla's demand, but it would be pointless. Despite the fact that the incident happened two years ago, Tesla has not lifted its restrictions. During the first week of April, the Shanghai plant was closed for maintenance. Employees were forced to sleep on the factory floor during the lockdown until work could resume. Although employees have returned, Tesla is only operating on a single shift while the repair is underway. As the number of confirmed COVID cases in the United States rises, the business has committed to keep fighting the virus. Due to production issues, Tesla is unable to succeed. The firm will be unable to raise output until the plague and the Russian-Ukrainian conflict are over. To make goods more accessible, materials and transportation costs must be minimized. When can we expect these issues to be resolved? To decrease production delays, Tesla must foresee and avoid unexpected hurdles. It's possible that Tesla will fail. Next up, Tesla warns that supply chain issues will continue through 2022. Tesla has said that it anticipates supply chain challenges to continue to impede the company's capacity to build electric cars for the rest of the year. Due to the adoption of numerous pandemic lockdowns in various nations, shortages have been a continual concern in recent years. While there are indicators that supply issues may begin to alleviate in 2022, recent epidemics and global events have prompted fresh worries. The shortages have had an especially negative effect on the technology industry, affecting everything from cell phones to electric automobiles. Even more recently, the growing cost of gasoline has put extra pressure on the EV market. Rising gasoline costs led to a large rise in orders for Tesla's model range of electric automobiles. Another unintended consequence seems to be the recent price hikes announced by Tesla. The latest quarterly financial report from Tesla reaffirmed solid production and delivery results for the first three months of 2022. The firm did, however, explain the effect of shortages and used the opportunity to state that it does not anticipate the situation to alter much this year. In addition to the effect of global supply chain constraints in the first quarter, Tesla reported issues in transportation, labor, and production in general. As a consequence, we are restricting our ability to operate our plants at full capacity. Tesla said that its plants have been operating below capacity for 
many quarters, and this is expected to persist for the remainder of 2022. Following that, what do we know about the Tesla company's improvement of supply networks while maintaining an element of uncertainty? Despite the warning that there would likely be persistent challenges that would restrict Tesla production for the rest of 2022, there have been signs that things are getting better overall. As time has progressed, it's been somewhat less difficult to get a graphics card and other necessary hardware, suggesting that the chip and GPU shortages are gradually diminishing. Tesla, too, has announced that the most recent quarter was a very prosperous one for the company. During the first three months of 2018, Tesla manufactured and delivered a total of 305,407, while Tesla's production of autos climbed slightly to 305,840 over the last three months of 2021, deliveries fell 308,600. The most crucial fact about the first three months of 2022 to remember is the huge increase in production compared to the same in 2021, 180,338. It is impossible to be confident of anything nowadays due to the many pressures, both internal and external, which is why Tesla is completely accurate in his warning that the rest of the year may not see the kind of advancement that many people would be anticipating for. Some companies like Tesla have had to resort to less traditional methods to ensure that production is disrupted as little as possible in the wake of recent outbreaks of COVID-19 in China. Up next, an 83 mile per hour computer freeze according to a Tesla owner. A Tesla owner in California reported that his vehicle's computer had stalled while he was driving. Elon Musk's automotive firm is facing difficulties. Then there were several recalls. In February, the business issued a recall for 600,000 cars owing to issues with the pedestrian warning system. Tesla recalled 800,000 cars in March owing to a problem with the seatbelts. Over-the-air updates may be used to resolve these difficulties. After upgrading to version 10.10, YouTubers reported issues with Tesla's self-driving software. A red light was no longer visible, since he had passed past it and slammed into the green barriers. This makes driving a risky undertaking. The roadway is a dangerous place to be. They want the system to be free free of flaws. It's natural for a larger device to have flaws, just as a smaller one, and this is particularly true when it comes to safety. According to ABC7 Eyewitness News, the computer screen on Javier Rodriguez's brand new Tesla Model 3 froze. The driver said that none of the controls were working, including the directional and safety indicators. Unfortunately, the accelerator had a flaw. Rodriguez's brakes were operational, but he was concerned that if he used them too often, he might slow down too much and get hit. The CHP assisted the Tesla driver in safety off the highway. Everything seemed to operate properly once I pressed the reset button. Rodriguez had his automobile towed and inspected. Finally, a terrifying error with no justifiable solution. Tesla did not provide a clear explanation as to what caused the problem but said that it had been resolved. According to Rodriguez, the report claimed that diagnosed and identified inadequate communication from charge port door, causing power conversion system to cut off in order to safeguard onboard components during drive. The problem was caused by the door to the charging port, which in the past has been known to be problematic on occasion. On the other hand, it almost never happens when the automobile's being driven. Rather, it occurs while attempting to charge the battery. The fact that the system froze due to a link not functioning properly is not very reassuring. Therefore, it's easy to see why Rodriguez does not feel reassured by Tesla's answer. There are plenty of dangers on the road and drivers are expected to avoid them. They don't need the added stress of having their own automobile break down on them. Nevertheless, it shouldn't come as a surprise that Tesla was cagey about the information. In the regular course of events, the corporation is slow to issue recalls. It is unwilling to acknowledge having made a mistake unless it's coerced into doing so. What are your opinions on this kind of error? Leave your comments on the dashboard. Well, that marks the end of our video for today. We hope you liked it. On your way out, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.